the part where these flying saucers drop slime bombs on Earth. Watch what happens. <laughs> Thanks, I needed that. I can't help it, Jamie. The science fiction movies really scare me. Well, this part's even more scary. Watch what happens now. <laughs> There's Vicky, too. You know, my dad says stuff like this could really happen. Your dad says a lot of dumb stuff. Who told you that? My dad. <laughs> my dad's real nut about flying saucers. He says aliens can land any day, and he's an expert on the subject. I know it makes him a nut, but what makes him an expert? <laughs> well, I better be going. Jamie. You should be more open-minded about strange aliens visiting. I am open-minded, Harriet. And thanks for visiting. <laughs> Hi! Bye! <clears throat> so... Guys, the uh, popcorn goes in your mouth. <clears throat> Where's the sofa? Mom sent it out this afternoon to have the spring fix. Well, I got something really exciting to show you guys. Where's your mom? In the kitchen. Oh, Vicky, would you ask her to come in here, please? Mom, come in here! <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. I'll be right there. Jamie, I have been working on this for months, and I finally got it perfected, I think. What is it? This. A hologram generator. Wow, a hologram generator. Wow, a hologram generator. What's a hologram generator? <laughs> Well, to put it simply, it'll allow Vicky to split her optic laser beam recording information at a specific point from two different sources, causing a seemingly real image that isn't there at all. That's putting it simply. <laughs> In other words, Vicky can project a three-dimensional image, and you don't have to wear funny glasses. <clears throat> Here, I'll show you. Vicky, what do you see on this page? I see the Louis XV chair Mom said you were too cheap to buy. <laughs> I am not cheap. That is a very expensive chair. For that price, it should come with Louis the Fifteenth. <laughs> okay, Vicky, make a projection of that over there. Over there. <laughs> it's incredible. Hi, honey. Oh, the Louis the Fifteenth chair I wanted. <laughs> Wonderful, extravagant man. Oh no, it's. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> He didn't. <laughs> We're going to have a little fun with the new hologram generator. Can you make anything up here? Anything I've seen. Hi, everyone. Can I come over? No, Harriet. I'll be right there. <laughs> I've got an idea, Vicky. Can you make a hologram of that flying saucer we saw on TV last night? Yes, lover lunch. <laughs> okay, when I give you the signal like this, I want you to make it appear over the yard. And make the sound, too. We're going to play a trick on Harriet. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Hi, Cuddle Bunny. Hi, Harriet. I'm glad you're here. You are? Why? <laughs> well, we're neighbors. And neighbors should be friendly. <laughs> Play together and stuff? What do you think about that? Well, I... <coughs> Look! Wow! A little flying saucer! <laughs> wow! A little flying saucer! Hey! Was that you that screamed? <coughs> 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 <laughs> well, you should have been here a minute ago, Mr. Brindle. A little green man beamed down from the little saucer and ran into the bushes. <laughs> I'll get my camera. Keep him busy. <laughs> okay, Vicky, you can turn it off. Boy, I sure burned their buns on that one. <laughs> Hi. Hi, honey. That was work. Terrific. I'm going to present my hologram generator to the board of directors tomorrow. But how can you have Vicky do that? They'll find out she's a robot. 
No, honey, not with Vicky. I've got another projection system. You should really wow him. Maybe even get me a promotion. But the best part is, Brandon Brendo won't be able to steal my idea this time. See, I built this thing right under his nose at the office, and he doesn't suspect a thing. Are you sure? What do you mean? He's out there sneaking around in our backyard. I knew it. Yeah, I wonder what he's doing out there. He must be snooping around trying to find out about my generator. Looking for something, Brandon? Fantastic! <laughs> Did you see it? See what? The flying saucer. Flying saucer? It, it was hovering right over your yard. And a little green man got out and ran into the bushes. <laughs> little green man. Are you sure it wasn't the Johnson's dog? Sometimes they dress him in funny clothes. <laughs> It couldn't have been a dog the saucer wasn't hearing. <laughs> when it comes back, I'm going to be ready for it. A picture of me with that little green man will make me famous. Yeah, two creatures from outer space. <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask your own son. Jamie saw the flying saucer and the little green man. Jamie said that? That's right. That should prove I'm not as crazy as I look. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Ted? I think I smell a little teenage rat at the bottom of this. Jamie, what do you know about a flying saucer and a little green man? Uh, nothing, Dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about you, Vicky? If you mean the little flying saucer with the flashing lights and the little windows, I didn't see it. <laughs> all right, Jamie, let's hear all about it. Well, I told Vicky to make a flying saucer using her hologram thing. Played a trick on Harriet. By accident, Mr. Brindle saw it, too. Jamie, do you know what you've done? Now Brandon thinks there's a little green man running around here, and he's going to keep on snooping. And he just might stumble on your dad's new project. Can't we just tell Mr. Brindle there is no little green man? That would be any good. He's already seen the flying saucer. Yeah. And now we're going to have to arrange for him to see the little green man, too. Are you I sure am. And as soon as he sees it, we'll have it zoom off into space forever. Small wonder will return after these messages. Boy, when I phoned Brandon and told him the little green man and the flying saucer were back, his scream almost broke my eardrum. <laughs> Do you really think he's going to buy this? Well, you sure bought it when Vicky did her hologram trick and made the flying saucer appear the first time. Yeah, and if he thinks the little green man's gone forever, then maybe he'll stop snooping around here. Then he won't accidentally discover my project. Okay, Vicky, make the flying saucer appear, uh, up there. Up there. Oh, Ted, it's really fantastic. Yeah. Okay, Vicky, now the little green man, um, over there. <laughs> encounter of the third kind. And I'm having a close encounter of the best kind. <laughs> Time's up in the soft chair. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the sofa back from the upholster. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. Teddy, hi. There's somebody I want you to meet. This is Colonel Carl Kramer, United States Air Force. Air Force? Evening. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, please, come in. I'd like you to meet... Uh, this is my wife, Hi. Joan. This is my daughter, Vicky, and this is my son, Jamie. 
Troopers. Hello, fly boy. <laughs> so, uh, what can we do for you, Colonel? Well, I... Uh, Colonel Kramer is here at my invitation to investigate my UFO sighting. Oh, well, that. I, I, I don't know what there is to investigate, Colonel. I mean, that UFO is gone. Probably halfway to the Milky Way by now. <laughs> With the little green man. Well, while the supposed little green man was here, did anyone talk to him? Mr. Brindle did. Oh? What did you say? He said, no, you wake him, we talk him, we smoke him, peace pipe. Make up your mind, Brindle, was it a little green man or a little red man? <laughs> no, no. It was a little green man, they'll tell you. Little green man. Uh, uh, Jamie, why don't you take Vicky into the kitchen and finish your homework? But I already finished my homework. He's trying to get rid of us, dummy. <laughs> Well, Colonel, gee, I, I'm, I'm awfully sorry you had to come all this way for nothing, but I want you to know it was really nice to meet you. <laughs> well, since your Sir. company does top-secret work for the government, I have no choice but to investigate. But, but what if the flying saucer doesn't come back? They never do. These sightings are usually hoaxes reported by some kook. But when someone like Brindle, a supposedly respected cybernetics engineer, an upstanding citizen... Mm -hmm. the peach of a guy? <laughs> yeah. When someone like that reports it, well, it casts a different light on it. Uh, we won't bother you. We'll just bivouac in your backyard for the next couple of days. Couple of days? Brindle, will you help me set up the equipment? Sure. I'll even bunk down with you. We can scan the heavens together. Two heads are better than one. You should know. <laughs> Great. Isn't there some way to get rid of them? Well, only if Brandon tells the Colonel that uh, the whole thing's a hoax and that he's a kook. So the colonel already thinks that Brandon's a kook, but he would never tell her it was a hoax. He would if a certain someone asked him to. Who's that? The little green man. <laughs> you know, Colonel, I finally figured out why the Martians keep coming back to our planet. You want to know why? I'm sure you're going to tell me. They come here for fish. <laughs> fish? Fish. Boiled fish, fried fish, fish on a stick, you name it. <laughs> you want to know why they come here for fish? No. Because there's no water on Mars. <laughs> Did you ever suppose that the reason they come is to take showers? <laughs> Boy, you're good. No wonder you've got all that fruit salad on your chest. <laughs> okay, Vicky, you know what to do. You know, Colonel, it is just possible that maybe some... <laughs> any little green man. He, he was standing right, oh, right there, across my heart. Did he have his fishing pole with him? <laughs> Colonel, you have got to believe me. Brendel, stop imagining things. I'm not! I don't have any imagination. Ask anybody. <laughs> so good. Okay, now for the knockout punch. Jamie, give us a few seconds to get back inside. Right. Mr. Brindle? Dad said he wanted to talk to you. It's very important. I, I, not now, Jamie. The Colonel and I are soldiers together on this mission. It's okay, soldier. Uh, but, Colonel... Then, hut! <laughs> the face! Forward! Fart! Hut! 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 What a weenie. <laughs> oh, what is it, Teddy? Make it fast, huh? Oh, no. Brandon! We saw the little green man in the house. No! I just saw him outside! He spoke to us. No. Yes. <laughs> he said he wanted to speak to you. Me? What did he want? He didn't say, but it must be very important. Yes. Look, he's back! I knew I was! 
wasn't saying anything. <laughs> you don't realize what this means. Teddy? T Teddy! Jody! Speak to me! What's wrong? Fear not, Brandon Brindle. What? Your friends have not been harmed. They are frozen in time. Unable to communicate. You're kidding. I'm an alien. I don't kid. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you speak our language? We've been monitoring your television signals for many years. Clever. Yes, and next month we're getting cable. <laughs> what did you want to say to me that's, that's so important? We're planning to invade your planet. Invade us? That's unthinkable! After we've conquered your people, we will make you king of the earth. That's thinkable. King <laughs> Brandon. But, but why me? We've been studying you. We know you are a respected cybernetics engineer, an outstanding citizen, and a real peach of a guy. <laughs> me, Brandon Brindle, king of the earth. No one must know of our plans. You must keep this a secret from everyone, Your Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but what about Colonel Kramer? Tell him it was all a hoax. That you're a real kook, and he'll go away. Brilliant. Really? Now, wait a minute. You, you were also seen by some of my subjects. These peasants, the, the losses? Their memories are wiped clean. They will not remember anything that has happened in the past 24 hours. You little green guys think of everything. <laughs> I must leave you now, but I will return King Brandon. Live long and prosper. Nanu Nanu. <laughs> Saucer, little green man, all that stuff. <laughs> you couldn't have laughed when I tell you this. <laughs> I made it all up. It's a hoax. You mean I'm out there freezing off my brass buttons for a hoax? I'm a kook. That's them. So oh, he's a kook, all right. Well, a real kook, hey. His lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> he's a real cuckoo clock. Wendell, <laughs> you could be arrested for this. The next time you want to see a creature from outer space, I have a suggestion for you. What? Look in the mirror. Brandon, what's all this about uh, flying saucers? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> no time for explanations now. I have a, a lot of shopping to do. Where can I get a throne cheap? <laughs> all right! <laughs> When did it arrive? Early this morning. No more sore behind. Let's try it out. <laughs> I really burned your buttons on that one. <laughs>
says aliens can land any day, and he's an expert on the subject. I know it makes him a nut, but what makes him an expert? <laughs> well, I better be going. Jamie, you should be more open-minded about strange aliens visiting. I am open-minded, Harriet, and thanks for visiting. <laughs> Drop slime bombs on Earth. Watch what happens. <laughs> Thanks, I needed that. I can't help it, Jamie. The science fiction movie is really. a lot of dumb stuff. Who told you that? My dad. <laughs> My dad's still nut about flying saucers. 